brutal, brutal, <laughs> totally brutal. was awesome. The bike was great. We were a little concerned it was going to be super slow and soft, but um, turned out to be awesome. The snowshoe run was incredible. There was no pack trail. It was all single track. I think it's great because it can showcase, you know, not only the people that do the summer events, but the people that are really strong at, at doing some of the winter stuff. You know, some people just do it for training and some people focus on it and, you know, do Xterras as a secondary sport, you know, during the summertime. So I think it's great to be able to showcase them, and, you know, and it's another way to, you know, get Snow Basin involved and, you know, get people out to Utah and enjoy the mountains and this great snow we have out here. It's definitely, I think, a good move for them. It's a, you know, a whole new dynamic, a whole new crowd of people, and I think it's an exciting event. What do you feel is your strong point in this? Well, today it was a snowshoe. Uh, Greg and I were able to put a lot of time on the field on the snowshoe. Held down to it pretty good on the run, felt really strong on the run, and uphill ski felt awesome, but uh, conditions changed today uh, for today with all this new snow, and I couldn't come downhill on those skate skis uh, worth a darn, so. I was sliding out all the time, fell about a dozen times, and just couldn't keep it together at all. Right before the last gate section, we had about five, six seconds, and you know, and, and as I was coming down the th first three, four gates, he wasn't in sight, and then I saw him snow plowing. And I was able to just point it, and you know, it wasn't it wasn't a challenge at that point, you know, and it was it was kind of crazy to just to, to grab the race, you know, so easily at the finish like that. But but that's what it, you know, that's what it came down to as an equipment choice thing. It wasn't anything I could do about it. it he definitely kind of surprised me. I thought I had a few seconds, and I thought I could just ski safe and be okay, but uh, it didn't work out. I did everything I could. I put, left it all on the course, so I'm happy about that. I was in front, and maybe two gates after I crashed, and I lost one ski, because it, with the, the snow, it was hard to, to, to see where you go with, with the speed, and so the other guys <laughs> passed me again, so I finished third, but you know, it was Josiah crashed one time, uh, Brian Smith made a little mistake one, he has to come back, so I think, you know, we were very close together and it's good. But it's awesome. It's uh, you know, may the best woman win because it's so hard. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. <laughs> the ski was definitely close. Rebecca started a few minutes ahead of me. Um, but I had a little bit lighter gear, which helped. I passed her back on the, first, the top of the first climb going up. She's a good, strong, solid skier, so there was always a chance she was coming back for me. Anyone that can survive a race like this deserves a hug. I don't care who they are. I haven't run or ridden my bike or ran in a skied all winter or snowshoed. <laughs> so it was a brutal wake-up call to uh, do all those things back to back to back. Uh, but it was a real test of character and whew, I look forward to improving on my result next year. 
So not bad for not training at all. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I know I'm out there going, imagine if I trained for this. Never seen all 